Hello everybody and welcome to your fifth uh, SFML tutorial learning how to make a platform using SFML 1.6 and um, so to continue from uh, to our next tutorial we need to have a font that we can actually load in uh, so for the sake of time I'm going to pause it and then I'll uh, resume it when I have a font okay so I have my font there okay uh, so let's run this okay so we got we got our t splash screen right there right nice um nice font nice white font uh, so we got it right there okay so now we want to uh do some some screen transitioning so we don't have an input manager class and we will be getting to that in the next tutorial uh but we're going to you know what we're gonna add an event so we're gonna say that if event uh dot dot key dot code uh, is equal to SF key uh, S we'll say S for switch uh, then we'll change screens we'll call screen manager or you know what uh, T is for splash screen yeah no S for splash screen T is for title screen I guess so do get instance and then we'll call add screen and then what we would put is new splash screen okay and else if event dot key dot code equals sf key t then i'll say screen manager get instance dot add screen new title screen so just to show you how this all works uh oh forgot the semicolon hmm okay we're getting we're missing something expected something before title screen so i'm gonna have to pause this and find out the error oh, okay I, I believe i figured it out um if we go to screen manager dot h we need to include a title screen right there so in our main dot cpp we have the title screen in there uh cause right now we don't have the title screen included so it doesn't know what this title screen is uh so let's run this so yes everything's good as expected so if i press the t key it will um, transfer from one screen to another now we never called the window clear uh, so um, after we so whatever we'll say window dot clear and let's run this so we have our splash screen up there. If we click T, switch the title screen. If you click S, switch it back. So that is um, entirely how our, our transitioning is going to work. But we don't want to handle our transitioning and stuff here. We want to be able to handle our transitioning and stuff in our header files and such. But we will be talking about that in the next tutorial when we when we when once we create our input manager class. So I, ho I hope this is a really short tutorial, but I, I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching and bye.